Hey there, strategy enthusiasts and history buffs. Welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to source for deep dives into the gaming universe. Today, we're marching through the trenches of Classified France 44, a title that sets its sights on the turn-based tactics genre with a World War Roman II backdrop. Developed by the newcomers at Absolutely Games, this game attempts to carve out a niche by drawing inspiration from the real-life Operation Jedburgh. Let's unpack what makes this title tick and whether it stands tall or falls short in the crowded battlefield of strategy games. Classified, France 44 drops players into the heart of wartime France with a campaign that intriguingly counts down to D-Day. The setup is promising, aiming to blend historical warfare with strategic gameplay. By focusing on the Jedburgh Commandos, Absolutely Games sets the stage for a narrative rich in potential. However, the question remains, does the game leverage its historical setting to deliver a compelling experience? A successful turn-based tactics game often balances on the strategic decisions made outside of combat. Unfortunately, classified struggles to make this aspect engaging. The game's strategic map offers few meaningful choices, reducing progression to a checklist rather than a series of impactful decisions. Comparatively, genre giants like XCOM 2 make every decision between missions feel critical and laden with consequence. In Classified, the approach of Operation Overlord, a monumental event in history, is reduced to a mere background timer, lacking the dramatic tension it deserves. When the boots hit the ground, Classified, France 44 sticks closely to the established mechanics of the genre for better or worse. The Action Point System, a departure from the more common two-action system, aims for complexity but often ends up confusing players with its unintuitive UI and plethora of tiny, hard-to-decipher icons. Tactical battles feature all the staples cover, overwatch, grenades but fail to innovate or stand out from the crowd. The attempt at a morale system, which could have added a fresh dynamic, falls flat as it seldom impacts the flow of battle in a meaningful way. Visually, the game doesn't do much to impress with dated graphics and a camera that sometimes has a mind of its own. This, combined with the foggy ambience of the battlefields, contributes to a sense of detachment rather than immersion. The division of missions into assault, stealth, and ambush types could have introduced variety, but instead feels limiting and arbitrary. This rigid structure strips away the player's agency, making missions feel like a series of checkboxes rather than dynamic challenges. Perhaps one of the most disappointing aspects is the game's treatment of its soldiers. With uninspired voice acting and indistinguishable models, the troops you command lack personality and depth. This is a stark contrast to games that manage to infuse their characters with distinctive traits and stories, making each unit memorable and valued. Classified, France 44 is not without its merits. The developer's ambition and respect for the historical setting are evident. However, in a genre that demands innovation and engagement, the game feels like a missed opportunity. It echoes the mechanics and features of its predecessors, but fails to capture the unique spark that makes a game truly stand out. In conclusion, while classified France 44 might appeal to die-hard fans of turn-based tactics eager for a WW2 setting, it struggles to compete with the heavyweights of the genre. It serves as a reminder of what makes games like XCOM, Chimera Squad, and Miasma Chronicles shine a combination of strategic depth, compelling narrative, and engaging gameplay mechanics that classified unfortunately lacks. So, strategy fans, will you be giving Classified France 44 a command to advance into your gaming library, or is this one mission you'll be skipping? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth reviews and gaming news. Until next time, keep those tactics sharp and your strategies sharper.